Is it on? Hello? Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Retro Future. Sorry if the uh, camera quality isn't quite as good as you remember. I had to sell all my cameras to pay off my mortgage. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't have any more time. Um, today we're going to be taking a look at this, the GBA Mini Camera. I like playing games on my Game Boy, but I also like not playing games on my Game Boy. So let's take pictures instead. This is the Competition Pro Nintendo DS Lite DS Digicam, which is also the GBA Mini Camera. So clearly a, a rebranded product that just so happens to obviously plug into a DS. Here it is. So this was sent in by Calvin to my P.O. box, which is in the description and on the About tab of my channel. If you ever find anything cool that you want to send in to maybe make a video on, please do because I love stuff like this. And immediately I received this and I was like, I'm making a video on that. So here we go. Dear Elliot, saw this on eBay and bought it immediately as I reckon it would make a good video for your channel. You're right. Potentially another pointless accessory for the GBA. Yes, you must review it. I am. All the best, Calvin. Thank you very much, Calvin, you absolute legend. So I have a couple of consoles here for us to try this out on. I have the Rose Gold Club Nintendo, Nintendo DS Lite here. This is a, a limited edition product, exclusive, uh, Club Nintendo exclusive. There's only a thousand of these in the world that was ever released. There's also a platinum one and a white one. As you can see, they have this very nice chrome top to them. It's a, a really, really cool finish to have on a DS. So I've got that, and I've got a Game Boy Micro. So let's take a look at this thing and see what it's about. So it says on the back here, for use with the Nintendo DS slash DS Lite slash GBA SP slash Game Boy Micro. Transform your console into a digital camera. It saves up to 52 images and you can download the pictures to your PC via a USB cable, which is included. So that is literally the only thing in English. The rest of it is in different languages. So let's take a look at this thing. Here we go. Okay, it looks like we're in. Right, there is the camera itself. And then we have a nice long USB cable, which actually feels very nice quality. So that's really decent. Okay, so here it is. It's a tiny little thing, probably not a lot bigger than, you know, like an action replay. It's gonna look quite funny plugged into here, I imagine. Yup. <laughs> look at that now. Oh, that is actually kind of cool though. But wait, is that gonna be upside down? I wonder if it's gonna like adjust. I don't know how that's gonna work. This lens cap also seems to rotate. So I don't know what that's doing, if it's doing anything at all. Oh, it hasn't even registered. Maybe I got it in the wrong way. Oh, I did have it in the wrong way. There we go, okay. That's actually really cute, you know. Okay, so it says mini cam, the second I plugged that in. Wait a minute. Oh. Oh dear. Oh dear. That, that can't be right. Ah. Well, everything is painfully slow. That is what I can tell you so far. I, it might be broken. Must be broken. I don't know what's going on there. Wait a minute. No. Oh, okay, so it rotates in order to focus. So it hasn't got autofocus. So you literally have to rotate it to focus, which I have done now. Let's take a picture. Oh my Lord, it's so slow. Okay, well there's our first photo. Right, I mean, let me try and show you this thing here. So basically it's got the frame rate. I mean, it, it's not, <laughs> wow. Um, it's really, really dark as well. I'm not really sure why that's the case considering we've got studio lights in here. Um, yeah, so it's incredibly slow, um, you know, at updating, I don't know if that's latency or frame rate, it's not, maybe it's, I don't know, but it's very, very slow, very jittery, 
and um, it was completely out of focus, out of the box, and there was no instructions with it to tell you how to focus it or anything like that. But now it is in focus, maybe that had just come loose in postage or something like that. It is actually working kind of well. Let me see if I can take a photo of me. There you go, you can kind of see that there. That's in the, uh, the viewfinder of my camera in front of me. So I guess it does actually work kind of well. There also doesn't really seem to be any sort of user interface. I mean, if we press B out of here, is that gonna do anything? No, if, I think L seems to navigate the different menus. So this is us viewing the different photos. So we can press A on the first one, there we go. Okay, so I've just figured out roughly how this thing works. So here is the menu with the different photos. The user interface is terrible, absolutely terrible. Honestly, words can hardly describe. So if you press A on the photo that you want to view, give it a couple of minutes and it will eventually load. Then you can press start and a little box will start flickering on the screen and you can move that box around with the D-pad and then by pressing A, you can zoom in. I don't think you can zoom in any further than that. So you've only got one little zoom. But I mean, that's kind of a cool feature and then you press B to quit out of that. So that is kind of a cool feature. Hey everyone, and <laughs> welcome to the retro future. Let's take a photo like that. So, A. That has worked. <laughs> okay, right, let's try it on the DS. Yeah, it's, it's painfully slow. I don't know if it's because it's on the Game Boy Micro or, or what is the problem, but it's painfully slow. It's really not got a very uh, fast anything. Actually, that looks kind of better on the uh, the DS there. I don't think it's actually going to make any difference to the, the frame rate of the image. Oh, there we go. No, it's exactly the same as it was before. But it's really cool that it does work. Like, it's not it's not great. It is really not very good at all. But it is cool that it works. Let's see if I can take a better photo. Oh dear, that has not gone well. Takes a very long time for the ISO to, uh, to adjust. Oh yes, that is beautiful. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, it is very cool seeing, you know, an image that we've taken on a on a little cartridge on a DS which doesn't have a camera on it. That is very cool. Right, let's take a look at the images and then I'll give you my final thoughts. So about 20 minutes has passed. I plugged this thing into the computer, nothing happened. Then I realized there's more you have to do. You have to press A and then press L and then plug in the cable and then it should work but then it said that there was no drivers then i searched high and low on the internet to try and find the drivers for it nothing and then i looked inside the box and in between the cardboard backing piece was lo and behold a manual and a disc i don't have anything to read this disc i had one laptop which has a disc bay and which i've never used and it doesn't work so that's a bit useless. On the disc, there's a website, www.powerplay.co.uk, and uh, the, the website's gone, so that's unfortunate. Here is the instructions, and it does actually have the thing about the camera focus, so that's actually really helpful. And then it tells you everything else that we've already figured out ourselves. So, that's all good. So what I've done instead, because we can't get the pictures off of this thing, is plugged it into the Homeboy <laughs> 88, and then I've got my video capture card, and uh, I just have a feedback monitor here so I can see what's going on. And now, we can actually see what it's like through the GBA camera, and I'm sure it's excruciating, but it is kind of cool. I had to turn the, uh, the GBA the Homeboy thing upside down so that we can actually see the right way up. But yeah, there we go. You can actually see the uh, <laughs> the image quality. It's kind of funny. And we're actually getting video now out of the uh, the GBA mini cam. So there's Tom Nook. There's my on-air sign. It's kind of cool. There's my uh, stuff. And uh, here's my slightly off-camera collection of bits that people keep asking me about. Sorry it's in uh, 10p quality, but I'll do a video on that stuff separately. But anyway, let's actually take a look at the pictures on this device. So to do that, we have to press B to come out of here. 
No, we don't. We have to press L. That will take us out of here. Then we have the mini cam UI, which is absolutely terrible. So it takes about three years for all the pictures to load in. And then we can go L and that will show us the next menu. So we've got erase all or undelete all. Then we've got the connect to the PC thing, really confusing. And then we come back to the actual camera. Not gonna lie, if I had this in, when did this probably come out? 2004 maybe, 2000, I don't know. Does it have a date on the box? No, no date anywhere. But had I had this when I was a kid, I would have absolutely loved it. So you can go down the photos and take a look at the next load of photos. So here we are, me and Tom Nook. So uh, let's take a look then at the pictures. So this probably isn't an accurate reflection of the actual quality of the pictures. I'm sure if you plugged it into the PC, you'd get a better, you know, you get a better quality image, but we can't do that. So here is the first one, terrible. But if we press the, the um, start button, we can do that zoom thing I was on about. So there you go, you got a little square screen thing, you press A and it zooms in. <laughs> I can count the pixels. Okay, let's press B and come out of here. There we go, and press B again. I told you everything was really bloody slow. Let's go over to a slightly better one where the lighting was clearly a little bit better. There we go. Okay, so we'll press start and then we'll take a look over here at the Mega Duck. Zoom in and there it is. It's really cool. I actually really like it. I think it's a very cool little thing. I think to have that little portable um, you know, camera in your pocket it is really damn cool. Right, let's take a look at the one with me and Tom Nook because the lighting on that was really good. There we go. Yeah, it's actually really not that bad. I mean, it's obviously very blurry, but in terms of its camera, like the colors and, and stuff, it's actually really decent. We'll press a start here and we'll zoom down into Tom Nook's shirt and you can see that it's not too blown out. You can see all the, the leaf graphics and his little uh, badge thing down there. So yeah, really, really cool little thing. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. It's just another little oddity that somehow exists. Um, and I like the fact that it does. And big thank you to Calvin for sending it in because without him, we wouldn't have had that. So if you have enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.